The Caesar salad was invented in the Hotel Caesar in Tijuana, Mexico in roughly the 1920s. But like, we should totally just stab Caesar! This is my take on if the Caesar salad was made in Vietnam, the Brutus Salak. You will need bird's eye chili, some dried mushrooms, I have shiitake and king oyster, green onion, some garlic, limes, an egg, neutral oil, fried garlic, fried shallots, ginger, preferably young, sesame seeds, roasted rice powder, oyster sauce, a shallot, rice paper, and anchovy mam nem, which is unfiltered fish sauce. Just make sure you shake it properly, but also try not to get it on your clothes. It is extremely pungent. If you can't find this particular ingredient, just use regular fish sauce. But I like it because it's got a little more body than regular fish sauce. Literally. First, cut your rice paper sheets into quadrants. This is because we're going to deep fry them, and when they puff up, you want them to be in manageable size pieces. Add a neutral oil to your frying vessel. I like using a wok because the high walls protect me from oil splatter. Turn on the heat to high, and when you put in a wooden chopstick and see little bubbles quickly forming around it, it's hot enough to fry. Roughly 350 degrees Fahrenheit. One at a time, toss in your rice paper sheet. You'll want to work quickly with a spider skimmer to pull it out and drain the excess oil. I like to place them on a baking tray lined with paper towels and or a wire rack. Try not to let the excess oil pool. Drain them as thoroughly as possible. Next, we're going to tear up some romaine lettuce. I like using my hands because I like variation in the size and shape of the torn leaves. You can also use thinly cut cabbage, which would be pretty familiar for the Vietnamese palate, which would make this more like a gai than a salak. This dressing is good with both heartier greens like cabbage and lighter ones like the romaine I'm using. Wash and dry thoroughly. I've cut some green onion on a steep angle so that they'll curl after sitting in cold water. And the flavor of the onions mellows out just slightly. In one of your largest bowls, zest your limes. Turn your limes so you ensure you're only getting the outer zest and not the white pith, which is bitter. Crack in an egg. You can use pasteurized eggs, but in all likelihood, the risk of you getting salmonella from eggs is much lower than you getting sick from your raw vegetables. So it's up to you whether you want to take that risk. You can alternatively use Kewpie mayo, which is made with egg yolks and rice vinegar. Mince and add your shallots into the bowl. Either smash or mince the garlic and toss it into the bowl. Smash the ginger. I like squeezing out the ginger juice from the pulp so you get all of the flavor and none of the fibrousness. Then smash or mince bird's eye chilies and toss them into the bowl. Toss the dried mushrooms in a spice grinder and pulverize to a powder. If you don't have a spice grinder, you can either omit the dried mushrooms entirely or buy mushroom seasoning at any Asian grocery store. Add it to the bowl along with the sesame seeds, roasted rice powder, oyster sauce, mam nem, and a neutral oil. Cut and squeeze your limes into the bowl. Whisk. I know, I know. It's far from the most attractive dressing, but I promise it will be better once you add it to the vegetables. And this is enough for six heads of romaine, which I will not be eating all at once, so I've split the dressing into thirds. It will last for a few days in the fridge. Add the lettuce, then the fried shallot, and the fried garlic, and mix. Tear in the fried rice paper. Plate. Don't forget to add in your green onion. Almost every ingredient echoes the function of the other in the original salad. The mam nem replaced the minced anchovies because fish sauce is made with anchovies, but the mam nem has been fermented. They serve the same purpose in adding umami and saltiness. The shallots and the ginger replace the spicy aromatic bite of the Dijon, and the oyster sauce both helps emulsify the sauce like the Dijon and adds umami like the Worcestershire. I replaced the olive oil with a more neutral oil because it's a lot more common for Vietnamese people to use. The parmesan was a lot trickier to replace as it adds a lot of salty umami and aroma, so I used the mushroom powder and the roasted rice powder to add more umami depth, as the mam nem and oyster sauce have enough pungency. To replace the croutons, I utilized the fried rice paper, fried shallots, and fried garlic for that crunch. And while I don't think they're nearly as crispy as croutons, they all serve to provide textural contrast. I added bird's eye chili for more heat, though Vietnam is also known for being one of the predominant pepper exporters of the world. 
Use both if you like. So that's my Vietnamized version of a Caesar salad, the Brutus salad. If you make it, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want more interesting food fusions you've likely never thought of, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next upload.